Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to solve a word problem involving a system of two equations. Now, what we have here is that the difference of two numbers is the same as their product. The sum of their reciprocals is negative 7. So the first thing that you want to do is set up what variables you want to use. So I'm just going to let x be the first number and I'm going to let y be the second number. Okay, and then I'm going to go through and read the problem and figure out how to set this up. So remember that the difference, anytime you see this difference means to subtract. So the difference of the two numbers, so if I take x and I subtract y, it is the same as the product of those two numbers. So remember that product means multiply. Okay, and then we are also told that the sum of their reciprocals, remember that the reciprocal means to flip it. So the reciprocal of x would be 1 over x and 1 over y. So we would just set this up that 1 over x plus 1 over y equals negative 7. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways that you could solve this one. What I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to choose to solve for y in this first equation. Okay, so I'm going to solve for y in this equation. In order to do that, since I have a y on both sides, I'm going to bring this y over here. And so I'm just going to rewrite this as x equals x times y plus y. Okay, so I still don't have y by itself, so I'm trying, my goal is to get y by itself on this side. So what I want to do is I want to undistribute a y from both terms, so I'm basically taking it out, I'm factoring since both terms have a y in it, and then I would be left with x plus 1. And then my last step in order to get y by itself is to divide both sides by x plus 1. Okay, so I end up with y equals x over x plus 1. Now that we've solved for y, what we want to do is we want to take and replace y back into the other equation. So since we're dealing with the reciprocal, instead of plugging in the x over x plus 1 in this equation, it's easier just to find the reciprocal of this. Okay, so the reciprocal would just be x plus 1 over x. So it's easier to plug this in as 1 over x plus x plus 1 over x equals negative 7. Okay, so instead of plugging it in as 1 over this expression, I can just find the reciprocal and replace that in for the reciprocal here. Okay, so now we have this equation where we have just x um, that we want to solve for. So you can keep it in the current form. What I advise doing is anytime you have fractions is to multiply by the lowest common denominator. So the LCD of this one would just be x. So if I multiply x in, I would be left with 1 here. On this one, if I multiply x in, the x's would cancel each other out, so I'd be left with x plus 1. And then on this side, I would have negative 7x. So now we have a very simple equation that we have to solve. So I would end up with x plus 2 if I um, add like terms equals negative 7x. I need to bring this x over to the other side. So when I do that, it does become negative. So I'm really subtracting an x from here, which would give me negative 8x. And then my final step would be to divide both sides by negative 8. So a lot of this stuff you could do in your head, but I want to make sure that you understand where I'm getting my values from. So if I reduce this, I get x equals negative 1 fourth. So that's my first number. So we have one of our variables solved for. And so we want to find our second variable. So remember that our second variable, we have this equation for y. So what we can do is we can take and say that y is going to equal negative 1 fourth over negative 1 fourth plus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify the denominator. Negative 1 fourth plus 1 would just give me positive 3 fourths. And then in order to make it so that I don't have a complex fraction, I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of both of these. So I'm going to multiply both of these by 4. When I do that, this ends up canceling out, this ends up canceling out, and so I'm just left with y equals negative 1 third. 
If you're struggling with that, you can always plug it into your calculator um, to help you out. But that is the easiest way to do it, is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the fraction within the numerator and denominator. Okay, so now we have our two values. It's always a good idea, especially when you end up with something complex like this, to check to make sure that this works. So we wanna see, is negative one-fourth minus negative one-third, does that equal the product of the two? So if I take negative one-fourth times negative one-third, does this work out? Okay, this side's easier to simplify and I end up with 1 12th on this side. So we wanna see, can we get this side to also equal 1 12th? So the first thing that we wanna do is make sure that we have the same denominator. So if we look at this right now, they don't. So 12 would be my lowest common denominator, so I would have to multiply this one by three, so this would be negative 3 twelfths. A negative times a negative makes this a positive, and this would be positive 4 twelfths. And if I simplify that, I can see that I do end up with 1 12th equals 1 12th. So we know that it works in the first equation. Okay, remember that our second equation is said that the sum of the reciprocals is negative 7. So if I find the reciprocal of each of these, the reciprocal of this one would be negative 4 plus the reciprocal of this one would end up being negative three, and we can see that yes, that does indeed equal negative seven, so we know that our solution worked. Uh, I know that this one is kind of complicated because of the fact that you have to deal with fractions, but sometimes we have to learn to work through even when it is difficult. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.